Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, for today's video, we're actually going to be fixing Cindy's brakes. Because at the moment, these brakes are so juttery, like you brake hard and you're just like, ooh, 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 ooh. But before we go on to fixing them, let's go take Cindy for a quick drive so I can show you guys how they actually work. How they work? How they don't work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're now in the. Ah. Stop it. We're now in the. Ah. I'm not even gonna say I can't be a house. We're in the car. Boogly, boogly. Go! <laughs> yeah, we're now in the car. Um, we're gonna show you what the brakes are like when you brake, obviously. <laughs> they go they go really like juttery. Yeah, it's probably really unsafe as well, so like Yeah, because obviously brakes are very important. You can important. feel it like moving the car a little, so Yeah, proper shape. Be like this for a good year. I'm sick of raining and now. It... Yeah. The cage rattling. Yeah, I don't know why uh, you guys can actually. Uh, it's probably something you feel more about. Like hear it or feel. Yeah. Well, you can't it's feel it. It's the cage. Is yeah, it, the it dog cage. The whole cage, right? That's how jar it is. Yeah. Today we're gonna be trying to fix Cindy. Fucking bitch. I'm ill as well, by the way. If I sound funny, it's because I'm ill. Okay, so we've got the brakes in here. Um, I have got my wannabe skier vibes on. Yeah, it's freezing out here, though. It's cold, um, so I look like a skier, but um, it is cold and I'm ill, so... You're too poor to be a skier. That's true. <laughs> You're too poor for a McDonald's ch uh, McChicken sandwich. No, I actually am. We got um, chicken selectors, so I had to transfer money from my savings. <laughs> so, in here we've got great shoes. I need some new shoes. So what's that? What is that? Where do they go, Chloe? On the brakes. I don't think. But we might not be changing them today. Depending. This is the thing that we're going to be... Hopefully, it's going to be fixing it. And what is this, Chloe? Brake. Disc. No. Kind Maybe. It's the drum brake drum cover. Brake. Why are we changing this one today, then, Chloe? Because, so, what we... What Michael thinks happened... So, when they changed the... When they take the drum brake off... He thinks because it was so rusty, because obviously my car's so old, he thinks they smacked it off so hard that they, like, warped the... The inside of this, which yeah. is... So it's not like a full circle, so when it goes round, it gets, it's got like a little... Dented bit. Dent, so then it goes like... The drum brake, the, the brakes itself, push against this, so obviously this has to be a full circle for it to be smooth. We're gonna give it a go. Hopefully, they'll be fixed. Fingers crossed. Why is this girl like so? Why are you putting on fucking fluffy gloves to do work? You're gonna get some so dirty. Oh my, really? <laughs> Don't try and force it on, Chloe. It's a fucking puzzle. There you go. Kick it. Jesus. Oh! <laughs> if I if I do this first time. See? It's stuck, man. <laughs> it's stuck. Ten hours later. The wheel's off. Finally. Looks like a rusty bitch. Right, so yeah, you can see how fucking... I mean, it's not crazy bad compared to others. But obviously, to get this off, we have to basically... It's so rusty. Yeah, like... And it's fucked. Is it meant to be like that? Well, that's how it comes out new. So when and it... And that's how when, bad it is. When the Citroen left the factory, it probably looked like that. Fucking hell, things haven't been changed since about World War Two. <laughs> that is, someone needs a little bit of moisturiser. <laughs> Look, get some cleansing water and some moisturiser on that and it'll be sorted. So, to get it off, we have to loosen um, the handbrake. The handbrake's released, but we have to loosen it so that we can get the drum off. So we release the handbrake because we need to get this cover off and it's pushing against the cover so that it stops it from coming off. So just give it a little whack, a little yeah. one. Uh, yeah. yeah, just around. 
Just around the whole thing. Break through the rust. It's moving. Is it? Oh yeah, come on now, try and pull it off. Towards you. Shut up, my guy. I'm trying to fucking film. Jeez, calm down, Claire. <laughs> He's taking a piss. Am I joined fucking guides again? <laughs> Why? You haven't even tried! I, I, I literally cannot get it. <gasps> this bit's telling me I'm weak. There's literally still a screw in it. What do you have to say for yourself? Shut up. Oh, that's coming now. Yeah! We just whack on the new cover, which is as simple as putting it back on. Take it off. And we're sorted! Out. Yeah! But we have to change both sides. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. Yeah. Oh, wow, decoration. Yeah, that should be. Well, hold on, hold on. You have to line it up first. Look. Yeah. Gonna... God. It's not that one, Clay. It's not that one, Clay. How do we take it out? It's not that one. How do we take take it out? I don't remember. We used the impact to so find the impact first and then whatever screws on the impact. Tie that in. Righty tighty. There you go. I'm really hoping this fixes it. Alright, if it does, that would save. Like, we'll be out here for hours if not. The drum brake covers, basically. Drum brake covers, we put the wheels back on. So hopefully... You can see the shining, mate. This has actually fixed it. Otherwise, we're going to have to change the rest of the brake. Yeah, and that's, that's actual hell. Like, We'll be out here for another six hours, mate. We're going to go on the drive. Keep your fingers crossed, guys, please. Let, let's go. You're not driving? <laughs> let's start driving and let's see if these brakes stop juddering. We might have made them worse to be fair, like, you know me, like, I always seem to make things worse when I do cars. But, if if it has fixed it, we've actually saved, I mean, I don't know how much money we, we would have saved, but... Well, we bought, I bought the brake kit thing for £100. I was going to book it into a garage, but then I was like, um... You're paying quite a lot for labour. Yeah. If that is the fix, that was a really easy fix. It makes sense in my head, like why it happened after a, dr a drum brake change. There's another Cindy. Cindy! Cindy! Let me, shall I try it? Please. Nah. What the fuck is it? we decided to test out if it was actually the front brakes that weren't working so michael headed straight onto euro car parts ordered some front discs and we drove straight to collect them fixed he's fixed it i should have let you drive it first then not well, we'll take on the drive in a minute to show you guys, we but think it's fixed. we think so. Michael changed the um the front discs for me. He's changed it and he's obviously he's took it out and he said it's fixed. Just he said uh, this is the old one. It, it, you can see like where it was. It's uneven basically. Like you can see that the pad was. It's a different shade. Like it should be all one shade. Like yeah. You know what I mean, and you can also feel it's a little bit uneven as well. Thank you very much. Okay, so it's the next day. Michael's actually changed the front discs on the front brakes. Um, obviously, we did the. Now they are. Obviously, we did the drum brakes yesterday, but, but that didn't fix it. That didn't fix it. But yeah, he um, changed these all for me, and apparently, it's fixed. I haven't driven. It seems to be yet. fixed right now, at least. I haven't been in it when it's fixed or driven. So we're going to take it out on the road, and hopefully, it's still fixed. 
And stays fixed. And stays fixed. So we'll have no judges anymore. It'll be nice and smooth. Yeah. I'm excited. You do look excited. I am excited. But yeah, let's go. Wrong, wrong cycler. Oh, the old disc did look quite warped. It was like, it should be just flat, but it was a bit like, it was like a bumpy hill, like Mount Everest. So. Chloe's also running a new exhaust as well. So. Yeah, Michael's fixed my exhaust. Not really, but. Yeah. Stop being modest, man. I'm wearing my boots, so it'll probably be judgery anyway. Tee <laughs> Judders. That's lovely. Nice and smooth. That's man. really weird though. I know. <laughs> Let's go left. Feel the brakes. No more judders, no, no more cage rattling. Oh my god, it's so smooth. That's actually so nice. Yeah, I know. It's actually nice to have a working car that works properly. That was basically like the retaining screw like snapped. And like there was a piece of metal basically sticking out. Only a small like piece of metal on the hub. And basically that maybe caused the brake disc to sit uneven, which caused the disc to wear uneven, which caused the juttering. Right then guys, so that is the end of today's video fixing the problem on the Citroen C1 that we didn't even film us fixing because we filmed the wrong thing. But yeah, enjoy! Lovely. Success! It's actually really strange when you drive it, you brake now, it's so smooth. It's, it's weird. Like it's a normal it's car. It's a new car, yeah. A normal you car. You know your car's fucked when you actually have smooth brakes and you're like, whoa! It feels like there should be something like... Doesn't it? I, we brake and I'm like, this is Are strange. Are we braking? <laughs> What's going on here then? I'm happy it's fixed now. It's good, Michael's happy it's fixed because oh, he yeah. gets stressed when my car's not 100%. But anyway, unfortunately that is the end of today's video. Follow me on Instagram at chl underscore dot oe. Thank you. Subscribe to my channel down below. And I'll see you, or will see you, in my next video. Bye! Oh!